This is the Outer American Peninsula on the west coast of Scotland and it's a great place to see pine martins. I know pine martins have been traveling through here because there's a little scat pile here and like most mustelids like otters they actually mark out the territory with the droppings. So I'm going to pop a bit of food out here in the hope to seeing them tonight. Pine martins are mostly nocturnal but they can be active during the day. Everything is set up, the food is out, the lights are on, the cameras are ready. I'm just waiting for a pine martin now. I've just seen a movement and that's not a pine martin. I've got some red deer that have come in and they're actually eating the peanut butter. There are two females known as hinds and one of them's got a calf. It's absolutely great to see the deer but I'm really worried they're going to eat all the peanut butter and when the pine martins come, they'll have nothing left to eat. Oh, finally a pine martin. This one looks like a young female and it's incredible how agile they are as they bound across the rocks. They're absolutely superb creatures and I just love watching them. That's been absolutely fantastic watching the pine martins, but it's getting really late now and I want to be up before dawn and hopefully see one in daylight. So it's just after dawn and some other birds are alarm calling out there. So I'm best get ready. Oh, it's a pine martin just arrived. This is my first pine martin in daylight on this trip. Beautiful. In the early 1900s, predator control and habitat loss almost drove this species to extinction in the UK. But now they're thriving on the Ardamurkan Peninsula. So well, Pine Martin's feeding back at the cottage really well, but I'm keen to explore these woodlands and I'm just thinking I've found the perfect branch to put a bit of peanut butter in and see if I can attract the Pine Martins here with this stunning backdrop. There's a couple of visitors straight away. and my trail cameras pick something up. Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. Just a couple of days later, we've got a pine martin there using this log. In the wild, pine martins eat anything from fruit and berries to small mammals and birds. They really are expert hunters. He even starts to show off his playful side too. The pine martin doesn't return to this log, so I head back to the lodge and get set up for another night of filming. It's not long until I get a visitor. And he shows off his climbing skills, which they're renowned for, using their sharp claws to grip and their long tails to balance. Pine martins are mostly solitary until the breeding season. So when I see three on my cameras, I know it must be a family. This kit wastes no time feeding and just wants to play fight. Pine Martin kits stay with the parents for around six months before heading out to find their own territory. So this one won't be around for long.
The family head off, and on the way out, I notice them scent mark. They do this often to keep other pine martins away. It's been fantastic studying the incredibly elusive pine martin. And it's been great to see so many individuals thriving here on the Arda Merkin Peninsula. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.